hello everyone welcome back to joy's creative finger i've decided to build a high school in my town replacing the pre-teen and teen boarding school that i built about a year ago it was on a small plot and there wasn't much space to play around with as far as the exterior goes i needed every inch of space that i could get so it looked more or less like a block <laughs> <laughs> of ice <laughs> but in this case I was able to play around with the exterior and come up with something that I feel is much better than the previous one that I had built uh, and that's as far as the outside of the building goes getting these shapes are quite simple sometimes it's by mistake really I find myself moving balconies here and there trying to fit things in different spots and then when I come out of the build and look at it from the roof to the bottom I think oh that's quite nice and then I leave it <laughs> and work around it but then after doing that I have to make sense of those balcony features on the outside on the inside rooms have to fit around internally and make sense you know you can't have a lot of black useless spaces inside but somehow this worked out for me and um, yeah it's on a very big plot so what I had chosen to do is create different blocks as you would find in high schools you know even universities you have different blocks you've got block A block B block C block D so they are separate builds here and there with different um, departments in a way uh, and then I decided to place a football court at the top <laughs> and a basketball court at the top as well and I thought it looked brilliant um, and then just played around with the uh, patio paving uh, colors to give it an edgy look as you can see here now Greg is standing right in front of the admissions office uh, this would be the block to the left as you arrive here as a parent you might come into this office ask for an application or even um, try and apply for a scholarship for your child because this is a private school a private high school <laughs> and only the best attend this school in my town so there are two members of staff in this office that will attend to you and you know school fees is paid here and passes are gained here and all kinds of administrative stuff would be delivered from this office to anyone who requires those sort of services um, and there are some seating areas for the people who come in here as well now once you come out of that block you work your way across the beautiful hedges and come over to block B where we have the entrance to the canteen um, some people call it canteen some people call it cafe some call it refectory it's your choice <laughs> I call it the place where I get food <laughs> But yes, this is where students would come in and order some food. I think in some of the schools I'm aware of, um, you have money paid into an account for you in the school. And so you can just show up, place an order, and it will be deducted from your funds. And then when it's empty, you obviously have to fill up <laughs> before you come in for a hot meal. But this is the access way into the kitchen area uh, where the chefs would cook up some lovely meals and then they would come out to this part of the cafe and serve the students as well as staff. I, I didn't build two separate eating areas for um, the staff or the students. They all have to attend the one place, but that's a different case with the toilets, okay? <laughs> I made sure that um, the staff have separate toilets from the, the children, obviously. Um, so once you walk down the street in this school, uh, the first door you meet is the one that leads into the boys uh, unit. And then you also have the girls unit here where my sim Greg is standing. So there are three toilet cubicles for the girls, three wash sinks and three shower units around the back, uh, which is important because they, the kids obviously engage in a lot of uh, physical activities. Uh, especially during the sporting season so they have to get washed off nicely the boys toilets are obviously structured the same way uh, but I've chosen to sort of highlight color differences <laughs> so we know where we're going <laughs> now when you come through this alleyway you then have a door that leads into the first lecture theater now a lot of high schools have theaters and it's most popular anyway in universities but i thought i'd put a couple of lecture theaters in this school because it's a big school it's a high school now the only thing i obviously couldn't do was place the seating in a step manner you know descending to the front that was impossible but i just decided to use these scandinavian tables that are wide enough to differentiate this room from the normal classrooms 
Um, the uniforms were easy to pick out. Uh, I think that the most important thing was to make sure that the cardigans or jumpers were exactly the same color. And then the girls have a white stripe on their black skirts and they're wearing socks while the boys wear um, an almost black trouser. It just occurred to me that they don't actually have jet black trousers. Um, so they're a bit grey when you look closely at them. Now, right where my arrow is pointing is the door that leads into the next lecture theatre. The TV is off because it didn't look right having a movie on. So you just have to imagine that it's a screen that could um, come on at any time with some important educational material <laughs> as opposed to a film. <laughs> and it also looks like a blackboard. But anyway, I have a good number of sims in here too. Um, and this hall here, this massive hall, is the hall where award ceremonies would take place. Now, I think I remember in my preteen high school, I had all the students in here having an assembly. Um, but this time I chose to keep the students in class while I leave the main auditorium uh, empty, just so you can see what it's structured as. And I thought it was quite nice to create that oval seating arrangement, as you see here. And the reason for this option is because the room is quite long, as you can see. So I got a bit confused on how to place the seats and then I, I, I just decided to start curving them up this way and it turned out quite nice. I really like it and it's quite lovely when the sims gather in there. You also have to work your way around to the back of this plot to come into this auditorium. So again that's another block uh, furthest away from the rest. Now I'm just going to get my sim here to take us upstairs to see some of the classrooms and other uh, spaces in this building and this is just an overview for you of what I have placed downstairs. Now there are no glitches in this build, remember that. <laughs> this is the first time in a long time that I haven't used a glitch. <laughs> I think the name is Sincity. Uh, a comment was left by someone called Sincity saying can you do a build without glitches? This would be it. <laughs> anyway. Now once you come up these escalators you see that I've created this lovely entrance area here um, and well before we go into that part of the build I'm just going to get my sim to show us some of the other classes. The first class on the left through this corridor where my arrow is pointing is a study room. This room is the room where you would have group activities um, and group assignments that have to be done in school. And that reminds me, this is when you get placed in groups with people that you can't stand. And by some magic, the teacher tends to throw you all together and you don't have a choice and you can't stand them. <laughs> but because your marks are at stake, you have to be at your best behavior so that you can complete the work without much drama. You know, <laughs> I remember the days I really do. Um, we have another room over here where we have some teens working away at these beautiful uh, desks which we received recently. I think that was with a, it was a teen event. I'm just not sure what exactly the name of it was, but it's a teen event and I love those desks. However, the brown one in the corner here is for preteens, but I thought it looked nice as a teacher's desk because it looks quite old and brown. <laughs> now we've got some lockers in here uh, where these uh, children place most of their items and that's it for that block upstairs now of course you see one classroom and you've seen them all so i haven't completely filled up the school with classrooms but i have tried to vary uh, some of the spaces in in the best way that i can and i just wanted you to see how it looks when he walks by um, on the balcony to the next section of this um, block now the room here on the right is the computer lab most schools have this well every school should have one um, and this is where every kind of computer um, piece of work is completed and you can see that I have adults in here uh, I found that I could also dress them in uniforms and that was quite nice <laughs> so I've added more to my teen collection just for this video anyway in here I have all teens because as you know they are the only ones that can use these desks and I just love uh, all the detail on the desk. I think that's the favorite thing about these desks for me. So it's a similar classroom that's mirrored from the one across from the other block. And that's what we have from this point on to the front. Four classrooms um, with somewhat different uses. The two at the front are the same, but the next two behind here uh, are different. A study room and a computer lab. So when you come through these doors here, 
it's sort of like the grand entrance in some way uh, and that's why I structured it like this as you can see and it's quite nice when you see him walk in but yes when you come in there's a big open space and lovely waiting area and on this side we have a boardroom for staff members for some parents if there's a meeting or the board of governors you know what i'm talking about <laughs> and across the way we have a staff room um, for some of the teachers now of course we don't have just two teachers in the school but most teachers have their station in the classrooms anyway uh, but this is one that uh, is a bit more private there is even a closet space where they hang up their coats and keep their personal items and so on and so forth i really like the way well there you go he's changed into some really granny old type of a coat <laughs> i'd stick with the one he already has on but yeah i just thought i'd create one staff room i don't have to create that many and now let's go on and have a look at the main principal's office this is the one office you do not want to be found in for any reason at all uh, but for a commendation of some sort uh, but yeah i thought i'd give it a lot of um elegant touches here and there and the photograph on the wall would be of the principal when he was a lot younger <laughs> Now across the way we have the science lab where the kids have a lot of fun creating all kinds of reactions with different chemicals. I set down four computers in here because I do believe that perhaps the students would come in here and have classes. This is one of the teachers who work in the lab and she would basically take them through the most interesting journeys that science could give you. So I thought it should be quite a big space in some way because classes do take place there. They also have to be a bit quiet in there because the principal's office is right next door. <laughs> so that's what we have in this section here. And once we go upstairs, we have the, let's see, let's start with the nurse's office. Let's go to the nurse's office right here. I have never had to visit the school nurse for anything, to be honest. But quite a number of people do come in here because they have needs. Um, some of which are very private and some maybe have had an accident out on the field during a sporting event and they need to be checked over in that space. Right next to the nurse's office is the PE room where a lot of physical education takes place and I thought I'd place a number of sims in here just to demonstrate and I really hope that most of you were able to complete the aerobics event that took place about a week ago if you're watching this in real time anyway. The active wear that you win is really beautiful. Now we have a door across that balcony and that leads into the massive library for the school. So this is a librarian sat there in a nice brown toned office. I did feel that the school should have a nice large library. Uh, once you borrow a book or you're replacing a book, she would be the one to see. And if you came in to study, then you would come into this place and quietly get a book and read. That's my picture of Einstein on the wall. <laughs> but yeah, I, I thought I'd place the bookshelves around in this way and um, across the other way as well. It's pretty much the same. Um, design. I like that you have to imagine you can walk around those shelves and get the book that you need and carry on with your study. And that's what we have um, on this level anyway for this school. So when you come up the stairs we have the restrooms for the staff. Remember I told you that they don't share restrooms with the students so when you come in here it's kind of twisted around so <laughs> my sim would help me out here which is quite useful um this would be the men's uh, restroom well the male staff they've got two cubicles there and those are the sinks and across the way you come in through here to the cubicles for the ladies okay um and out here we have the sinks for them and then behind the door are the units where you can buy um, sanitary uh, material for use in the bathroom now across the way we have the archives room and also most of the staff members would come up here to do the marking for most of the exams that have taken place in the school so they would file away documents here and um, yeah, this is, is basically a much quieter space for some of the staff members to work in. And that completes the tour for this very large high school. <laughs> Will there be a life build? Hmm. Well, there is one place I need to get my sim to and that's 
to show you the access way to the football court and the basketball court so we're just going to follow him all the way through as I wrap up this tour now I have promised that I'll be putting out live builds during the course of the week sometimes I've put out a couple and sometimes I've put out just one it depends on how much time I have on my hands but I'll continue to endeavor to put out as much content as I can on the channel so do bear with me and I know I've received a few requests for live builds and I have taken note of them Starbucks will be on the way um, someone wanted the live build for Cinderella's house right Cinderella's cottage so I am reading the comments and I will um, put out these live builds as soon as I can thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day bye